And now, the general weather around Alaska. First up, we've got some uh, warnings, watches, and advisories out here. Up along the Arctic coast, that's a winter storm watch out beginning Tuesday afternoon, continuing through Wednesday evening for uh, winter storm conditions. Uh, heavy snow, strong winds, blowing snow, reduced visibilities down to a quarter mile or less. And then the rust colored areas here, those are for winter weather advisories for conditions that aren't as bad as a warning. So moving on down here, we'll see there's a blizzard warning out for Nunavak Island and the Cuscombe Delta area for tonight into tomorrow for uh, blizzard conditions. Winds, strong winds, east winds uh, up to 50 miles an hour, creating blowing or resulting in blowing snow that will reduce visibilities down to a quarter mile or less at times. Winter weather advisory out tonight for the Bristol Bay area for rain, snow, and blowing snow in that area. And then for the uh, Kenai Peninsula, there's a winter storm warning out for the higher elevations of the Seward Highway, such as uh, Summit Lake and uh, Turnigan Pass and those locations for heavy snow with uh, blowing snow and gusty winds. And also for Thompson Pass, there's a blizzard warning out for late tonight and tomorrow there for snow and blowing snow with strong winds. And from there, going to satellite imagery, we had a system move through into British Columbia quite rapidly there, and that's just leaving some diminishing showers behind over the southeast coast today. Uh, not a bad day, fair here over the southern part of the state with some sunshine breaking out in areas. That ahead of this big storm pulling up toward the Alaska Peninsula, bringing uh, heavy wind and precipitation with it right on up to the Prairie Bluff Islands from Adak Atka eastward here into the eastern Aleutians at low center coming across on Alaska Island today. And that brought very strong winds out of the southeast to the Alaska Peninsula and very strong winds out of the west northwest, wrapping back around toward Nikolsky there. Wind and rain on the increase there for Kodiak Island with cirrus spreading up into the Cuscombe, uh, southern Cuscombe Valley and in toward the Cuscombe Delta area. And rolling that through again, you can see Storm system here moving slower than this cloud mass here that's coming northward. Uh, I've got clouds already spilling into southern Cook Inlet here on the last frame there. And some uh, disorganized clouds up there along the Brooks Range to the Arctic coast. Again, continuing to result in some light snow and a uh, little bit of breezy conditions up there as well. But the wind's not all that strong today. Otherwise, just light snow and generally cloudy skies up in that area, breaking out quite nicely here. Uh, earlier today, Kodiak Island and not a bad day over Southern Cook Inlet, uh, all the way up into Northern Cook Inlet, lingering light snow, Northern Sitna Valley and toward the mountainous terrain of the Alaska Range. Nice day, some clearing with light winds for the Copper River Basin area. This trough had showers more numerous earlier today, diminishing this afternoon there across the Southeast coast is at main low center already just about off the chart there. Then we have this 950 millibar low that's uh, moving right across on Alaska Island earlier is going to track northeastward slowly tonight. That brought wind gusts of about 80 miles per hour at Cold Bay earlier today. And then behind that, winds gusting to 70 miles an hour at Nikolsky, at least at last report there, with winds gusting 50 to 60 miles an hour across the Pribilof Islands and on the increase there with moisture spreading northward and eastward, with rain heavy at times along the southern Alaska Peninsula throughout the day today. And we'll see for tonight, that system continues northeastward there. That's going to increase the wind and precipitation across all areas of southern Alaska, especially for the eastern North Gulf Coast. It'll take a little longer there. But look for uh, snow and blowing snow again from the Cuscoam Mountains across the Cuscoam Delta and uh, mixed precipitation developing over Bristol Bay with very strong southeast winds there. Very windy for the eastern Aleutians tonight. And uh, again, the Alaska Peninsula still looking at very strong winds there, more from a, becoming a west-southwest direction as the slow center pulls northward. And so winds could still gust 60 to 75 miles an hour for the eastern Aleutians here out of the west-northwest. And definitely a big increase in the winds here for the North Gulf Coast. Gale warnings will eventually turn into storm warnings for even Prince William Sound and all of the North Gulf Coast uh, later tonight and tomorrow. Otherwise, a fair day for the Panhandle, or a fair night for the Panhandle with maybe some clearing until this front pushes eastward 
with uh, gale force winds and rain pushing into the area there during the day tomorrow. And again, storm force winds ahead of this front moving into Prince William Sound, all of the North Gulf Coast until the front moves through. And that will increase the wind in the Copper River Basin. High wind warning during the morning hours tomorrow for the Anchorage Hillside turning an arm, gust again 70 miles an hour or so. Low pressure now just southwest of uh, Nunavak Island, starting to fill a little bit, but still at 957 millibars, so very strong winds around that center. Uh, precipitation lighting up here, more of a mixed condition there over the southwest interior, south of the front, north of the front in the form of snow or blowing snow for the Seward Peninsula, Norton Sound area. Winds increasing here over the northern interior valleys, but not much in the way of snow up in those areas there. And starting to see an increase in the winds there for the Arctic coast. And for the day on uh, Wednesday, still pretty brisk there for the Arctic coastal areas. There's still a chance of light snow, but nothing too significant. Lighter winds, drier over much interior Alaska here as this low center uh, weakens right over Nunavak Island there considerably, keeping some rain and snow showers and mild southerly winds there over the southwest interior. Winds even diminishing here, those northwest winds diminishing across the Perbilof Islands, the eastern Aleutians. Still a lot of showers and moisture wrapping back around from coming down from the northwest in those areas. Another system begins to increase the wind and rain into Kodiak Island and the Alaska Peninsula later in the day, but this system not nearly as strong as the one coming through uh, this evening and tonight into tomorrow. Otherwise, high pressure develops along the panhandle. that will dry the coastal areas out, but that uh, front dragging slowly eastward will keep a chance of rain over, the, over toward the border and down toward Misty Fjords and Dixon entrance through the day. Lows tonight, uh, right around zero for the Brooks Range, five to 10 in the central interior, milder out toward the southwest coast. Lows, uh, some areas seeing them currently, and they'll be rising through the night, near 40 for Kodiak, 25 to 38 for south central Alaska, and uh, in the 30s for the southeast coast. And then highs for tomorrow, looks like uh, right around freezing for St. Lawrence Island, in the teens for the Brooks Range, 20s for the Arctic coast, 20s in the central interior and upper 30s to mid 40s southern Alaska from Bristol Bay eastward into the Panhandle. And lows the following morning, not too bad, uh, upper 20s to mid 30s south central Alaska, staying above freezing out in Bristol Bay, mid to upper 30s there for Kodiak Island, right around 40 for the Alaska Peninsula, a little chillier for the Pribloffs into the central Aleutians. And uh, lows 5 to 10 for the Brooks Range and 10 to 25 for the Arctic Coast. And then for the highs, not too bad again in the 40s, South Central Alaska, near 40 in the Susitna Valley. And highs in the uh, 20s to lower 30s for the Tanana Valley area, well into the 30s here over the southwest part of the state and looking at some lower 50s over the southern southeast coast.